Today at ET Infra's Global Ports and Shipping Summit, we are honored to have the presence of Chairman JNPA, Mr. Unme Sharad Wag. Uh, Mr. Wag, really appreciate you taking your time out and joining us out here at ET Infra Global Ports and Shipping Summit. Uh, you just uh, concluded your speech and highlighted how JNPA has been sort of being able to implement the PPP in the ports infrastructure and has been a very successful one. You know, it's a model for the rest of the infrastructure sector. So for JNPA, what lies ahead, you know, the participation with the private sector going ahead see the first ppp in port sector and the largest ppp in infrastructure happened in jnpa with the dp world which completed 27 years so as far as ppp is concerned which was very new concept to india but now it is almost settled and as far as the maritime sector is concerned the port sector is concerned this ppp thing is very settled thing in uh, this sector so we don't face any issue about the bringing the new partners or uh, finding competition so that there is competition which brings the best from the world and that's why taking advantage of all these ppp partner jnpa became the one of the most efficient port not only in india but in the world now we have all the best players of the world in jnpa the port of singapore the mercs dp world cms agm jsw all are working in jnpa and because of that our efficiency is reached to a new high and that reduce the cost of doing business that reduce the logistic cost and also reduce the time of doing business so because of that now jnpa become a landlord port which is the first landlord port of india and now ministry of ports and shipping and waterways decided to have 85 percent of cargo handling through ppp only uh, you also uh, talked upon that how you, you know you plan to sort of extend the benefits in terms of the efficiency that's coming in the post to your trade stakeholders. Now, what are the measures or you know sort of uh, policies that you would be looking forward on that front, where the benefits are passed on and that would you know overall benefit the uh, trade uh, ecosystem out here in India. See, as a public port, we should not much worry about the top line and bottom line, which is not uh, our priority. Definitely, the profit is always uh, helpful to put in uh, money in the infra. But we should more worry about a country's interest because we are public sector. So in JNP, what we did, whenever we created certain facilities, because it is a little monopolistic business, having the geographical location, the time, because it's a historical port at our on our side so we should not charge exorbitantly for the service which are provided because trade don't do not have any op, any option but to go for these ports so what we did we only charge the cost of service plus that's all so just to give one example of the uh, centralized parking plaza which are there for the export containers the before this centralized park plaza the minimum charges per container around 10,000 plus. But when we decided that uh, we did this infrastructure for 30 years, so what should be our cost? It come out 150 rupees per container. So we are charging that only. So instead of earning profit, what we said, it pass on this benefit to the trade. So they became more competitive to the world market. And in turn, they will bring more benefit to the country. That happened. And that is why the growth of my port is now 25% this month. So this is not possible because only because of this initiative, this ease of doing initiative, the financement of infrastructure, uh, simplification of process, digitalization of that. And believe me, initially a Pune-based exporter used to send his cargo almost a week in advance. Now he sends in hours in advance. So that also saved. So we did a independent study through Crisil to understand and also objectively assess how much we have saved and they have given a fantastic report so almost for the exim cargo we are passing on almost the benefit of tangible benefit for pit of more than a 600 to 700 crores so all other intangible benefit saving in terms of time in terms of ease it is not calculated in that uh, so my last questions, many of the industry stakeholders today just turned up to you know, listen to you and to interact with you uh, at AT Infra Global Ports and Shipping Summit. Uh, would like to have your, you know, take away your experience on visiting the summit today. See, the AT, I must say, I mean, uh, the uh, the editor Manoj and your team, 
दे आर एक्चुअली वेरी पॉजिटिव इन देयर अप्रोच आई मीन दे डोंट लुक फॉरवर्ड any lacuna to highlight rather they highlight the best happening in the industry definitely whenever required they put they show us the mirror but definite but most of the time they help us to understand the situation that is one thing and second this is a platform where most of the people are together and we are sharing uh, exchanging information ideas and because we are doing ward one so this kind of summit also gives us an opportunity to showcase what we are doing in next 5 to 10 years so that all all your partners which are written here they are our potential partners in ward one all of them because i read those names and i can tell you all of them can be our future partners in ward one thank you very much sir for joining us thank you very much